Subscribe to my channel Imam Salik. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Bismillah ar-Salatu ar-Salamu ala Rasulillah. Amma ba'd. My respected brothers, sisters, honorable elders. A very, very special and important topic. What is that? Freedom of expression. Freedom of speech. What is the explanation and what is the fundamental teachings, the basic teachings of Islam about the freedom of speech and freedom of expression? There is two answers of these questions. Number one, yes. Everyone is free to say what he wants to say. And he can express his views, his opinion, his understanding. That is number one. Number two, and that is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has permitted. But, my brothers, my sisters, there is a limit, a boundary of everyone's dignity. I can go up to that boundary and cannot enter in the private property of anyone's dignity, anyone's respect. Why? Because Islam teaches us to be good. If we remember, just one day before, I read a hadith. Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Man kana yu'minu billahi wal yawmil akhir fal yakul khayran aw liyasmut. Fal yakul khayran. You want to express your view? Go ahead. But if it is bad, be silent. Why? Because Islam wants good to spread in the community, not the bad. Islam wants the benefit of every single human being in this world. Islam wants the, you know, the positivity amongst the human beings of this world that's why islam gives us the permission ud'u ila sabili rabbik yes you can invite the people towards allah and you can talk to them you can express your views by what bil hikma but you have to use wisdom when you talk to the people select the beautiful proper appropriate ethical letters and words to address the people so my brothers freedom of speech does not mean to insult others freedom of speech does not mean to humiliate to ruin to belittle to wrong and to abuse the dignity of any personality or any nation or any kind of relations because every single person has a boundary of his personality or her personality that as we know private property as we know here private property if it is written are you gonna enter no because you know it is someone else's private property so you have to enter with permission so the dignity honor respect and the regard of every single human being whosoever we are not talking about there are upper levels authorities we are not talking about the level that if someone has any authority then he has the regard no being a human being Allah said, I have respected regard and I have honor for every single human being, regardless of anything related to these people. So let us understand expression, freedom of expression, freedom of speech, that it is permitted, but not to cross the limits and not to breach the boundaries of the dignity and respect of anyone in fellow humans, whoever and whosoever. May Allah grant us understanding and may Allah grant us ability, insha'Allah.